Tracy Foreman with Aging Partners. Thanks for joining us today as we do Qigong for Energy. Joining me is Jerry, Sarah, and Sherry today, and I think all of them would agree that Qigong is a practice that helps to improve our core strength, flexibility, our mind, our body, and our soul. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, okay, so today we're gonna focus on the breath and then we'll move to some of the forms that we'll do. You don't have to memorize any of this. So just get a comfortable chair, one that does not have arms on it. Don't try to do this from your recliner or a rocking chair or your office chair with wheels on it. We need a good solid chair. We're not going to have our back way back, we're gonna to come to about the center of the chair with our feet flat and our knees wide. So get into your chair and let's get ready to get our Qigong on. All right, well, let's begin. I think everybody's in position. We'll start with our breath. We're gonna bring our hand to our lower abdomen, one at the lower abdomen and then one at the chest. So we want to practice what's called a roll breath, and to do that, we inhale into the lower abdomen first, and that's the way a baby breathes. So let's breathe down into the lower abdomen, feel and see that hand rising. Inhale, now come up through the diaphragm, and into the chest. When we exhale, top hand goes down first, and then our diaphragm and then our lower hand. Let's do that again, breathing through your nose. Inhale. And then exhale, top hand goes down first, then diaphragm, and then your lower hand. Let's do one more. Inhale, stomach, diaphragm, and chest. And then exhale, chest, diaphragm, and stomach. Let's bring our hands now into the center, palms facing down. We're going to do something called a tiger's breath, so you'll want your feet wide and flat. Let's do an inhale, come up just a little bit above your head on the inhale, and then on the exhale we're going to blow everything out our mouth. We're going to make some noise with this, so bring it forward with a <sighs> inhale through your nose, bring it forward, We'll do two more of these. And one more. You saw that we were burying our claws there as we came down. Let's let those hands settle down onto our knees. Now the next one we're going to do, and we will do this from a seated position, it's called holding the earth. So let's do palms up at our lower abdomen. We'll inhale as we come up. Remember that stomach, diaphragm, chest inhale, or that roll breath. Inhale up, and when you get to the forehead, rotate off the forehead. Head drops back slightly to watch those hands. And then as you come down, palms turn up. So inhale up, rotate off the forehead. This is one full breath, and exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down, feeling a little bit of work in the shoulders and neck here. Inhale up. And exhale down. Let's do one more of those. Inhale up. And exhale down. The next one we'll do from a seated position also. We'll bring one arm behind our body and the other up, we call this goal post position. So incorporating the breath on this one, we're going to turn into it and bring your arm across on the inhale. And then when we exhale, we pull back into a twist. So working on a spinal twist along with our breath, inhale across, exhale as we release back. Inhale, come across our body. Exhale back, one more time, inhale, exhale back to center and bring it down. Now let's switch sides, bring that arm behind and the other arm up at the side. Let's inhale and come across our body, exhale, unwind and come back the other way. Inhale. 
mile across. Exhale back. Inhale, head is turning in the same direction that our torso is turning. Let's do one more. Exhale back to neutral position and drop that arm down. The next breathing exercise we're going to do is called brain clarity. So we'll bring one palm right at the division in our chest here, right at our heart level. Our other hand, palm spacing, is beside it. On the inhale, we'll raise that hand up and bring it around and down to the side and back alongside the other hand. Let's do it four times on each side. Inhale, head drops back to watch that hand and then Turn and come down. Big inhale up. We exhale as we come down and around. One more time. Inhale up. And exhale down. Let's do that on the other side four times. Inhale, push that hand up. And exhale as we come back to meet the other hand. Inhale up. And exhale down. Again, inhale up. And exhale down. And one more time. And exhale down. We're going to turn our palms down and imagine you have a table in front of you. We'll start first pushing away as if we're wiping the top of the table on the inhale and then on the exhale our palms will face the other way. So we're moving into the spine but coming off of each sits bone as we go side to side. Inhaling and exhaling. Here's our breath. Inhale. Turn your head to watch the direction of your hands and exhale as we come across the other way. Inhale, and exhale. Let's bring those hands back and settle them on the top of that table. And now we'll do one side at a time. Inhale, reach out, and exhale. Pull that energy in towards your heart center and then settle your hand down. Inhale out to the side. Exhale, pull into your heart center and settle that hand. Inhale. Exhale, pull it in. The breath is so important in Qigong because Qigong is a meditative practice. It helps to clear negative energy from our mind and our body. One more time, inhale. Bring it in. And exhale, settle that hand down. Let's do one more forward breathing movement here. Pull forward on the inhale and bring it back in on the exhale. Pull forward on the inhale. Palms remain facing your body and exhale in. Leaning just slightly back in your chair when you come back on the exhale. One more seated exercise that we'll do, we'll gather fruit. So raising palm up, one hand on the inhale, and then exhale down into your basket of fruit or down to the ground to gather fruit. Lift up on the inhale and turn into your exhale as you release the fruit on the side. Inhale, palm up. Exhale, come forward. Inhale up. Exhale down. We'll do one more on this side. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Let's bring that hand to rest on our knee. Other side. Inhale up. Exhale forward. Here's your inhale. Exhale on release. Keep it going. Let's do one more. We've 
done our warm ups and we've got our breath moving through our body and now I think it's time for us to stand up. Let's bring our feet a little closer together. Heels back under your knees and slide out toward the edge of your chair. Nose over toes when you're rising up, press down into your knees and come forward. Nose over toes and power up through your legs. We'll come and stand at the side of our chair to begin and let's just do a couple of leg stretches and then we'll loosen those legs up a little bit. Let's just move into a basic lunge, stepping your leg back, feeling the stretch up into the calf and the hamstring. Raise that heel and lower. Heel up and lower one more time forward. Now it's nice to have the chair here if you have balance issues because you can hold on to the chair if you feel you're getting a little bit off balance. Reaching back with your other foot, heel down to the floor, feel that nice stretch and then inhale up and exhale lower down. Inhale up and exhale down. Last inhale we'll step forward. Okay, good, we did a nice warm up there. Now I think we'll start with a little bit of thumping. Thumping really gets your circulation flowing, but this also aids in the digestive process. So what we're going to do, if you need to hold on to a chair and just do it on one side, that works. We're gonna thump on both sides of our knees. So raise up and thump, thump. We usually incorporate some sort of thumping in every session of Qigong. So this is thumping the knees. These are primary circulatory points in our body. And raising the knee, again, aids in digestion, circulation. It stimulates that circulatory system. Now open your hands and we're going to do a little slap on each side of the knees. All right, let's put those hands down. Can you feel yourselves warming up now? We're getting warmer. We're going to alternate our knee and our arm raise. So on the same side, we'll raise. This is a, a balance exercise, so raise and lower, centering yourself over one side, raise and lower. Inhale as you come up, and exhale as you release down. Inhale, and exhale, keep moving. This is really an exercise in balance, so if you need the chair, please hang on to it. time and bring it down. All right, so we're going to get a little bit more expansive with our movements here. I'm going to pull my chair back just a little bit. We're going to move to something called tighten lifting a weight. So we lead with our little fingers a lot because that is a direct line into the heart meridian here, into the heart line up your arm and then down into your your chest cavity. So we're gonna inhale and step out to the side. Little fingers lead up. Inhale. Bring your hands, palms up over your shoulders and squat down. Exhale. Inhale, push up. And exhale, come in. Let's do it on the other side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Let's do it again. You feel this in your legs. Exhale as you come down. Inhale, and exhale. And I think we'll do one more on each side. Inhale, exhale, inhale and exhale. Do we have one more of those in us? Inhale, exhale, inhale, 
and exhale. The next one we're going to do is an abdominal press or a rock pressing its crop. So little fingers lead up again as we step out, inhale. Arms rotate around and then flat palms toward the abdominal area and we're gonna move into a twist as we push across our abdomen. Keep your breath moving. Knees soft, never wanna lock our joints. In Qigong, we wanna keep all of our joints loose. Movement's nice and easy. Turning our head along with our torso. And now let's open those arms and come back in. Settle those hands down gently in front. Let's move to the other side, inhale. Rotate around and we'll do it again. Cross. Pulling that elbow back to deepen that twist a little bit. And let's go ahead and open our arms and step in. Nice job. One more of these big reach movements here from this uh, standing position here. We're gonna reach out with our fingers again and step our foot out and then move into what's called giant plane with the ball. Rotate around and now we make fists. We're gonna sweep across, sweep, or we're pushing in front of our body. Push down, across the body again, working into the spinal area. Turning our head, the direction our torso's turning. And let's open up, inhale. Exhale, always settling those hands down in front. Let's do it on the other side. Inhale, fists again, push across. Keep your breath moving, we're exhaling and inhaling here, nice and easy. They're doing a nice job of keeping their knees bent slightly, that's important. And let's inhale here. And step in. The next one we're going to do is called White Crane, spreading its wings. Little fingers again lead up. You'll see this a lot in Qigong. As we bring our fingers up, we step out with one toe, and then we'll do four passes across that knee. There's one, twisting at the torso, two, three, and then after the fourth one, four, we'll open up and step back and settle those hands down. Let's do it on the other side. Inhale and cross. Two, three, here's our fourth one, and four, open it up. Bring it back and settle down. Let's do it again. Bring it up and pass over that knee. One, two, three, and keep that breath moving. Here's four. Inhale, bring it back. One more time. Inhale. Pass over. Last one, inhale. And step it back, settle down. We'll do one that involves a deep bend into the knees. Again, leading up with your little fingers, we're gonna step forward. Inhale, child doing the laundry and step back behind with your other foot. Now you're going to twist and come to the outside of the knee that's forward. Grab that imaginary fabric and pull it up. We're doing the laundry. Down and up. When we do the third lift, inhale, step out to the side and exhale, settle those hands down. Let's do it on the other side. Step forward slightly, inhale. Exhale as you step behind and come down to grab that fabric. Inhale up, exhale down. We turn into the twist as we exhale down and inhale coming forward. Exhale, one more time, inhale. And exhale, let's do it again. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale. This last one, we're gonna step out on the inhale. And exhale, settle it in. Here we go, this will be our last one. 
Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale as you step out. And exhale as you settle down. Now the last one has a lot more to it, but it's kind of a fun one. It's called Monkey Offers Fruit. So we start with both of the backs of our hands coming together to the side. We're in a spinal twist here. Inhale, bring it up into sunshine arms, and then exhale as we step out. Bring your other foot forward on the exhale. Now step that foot back. Inhale as we rotate arms back. Exhale as we come in forward, fists over your knee. Inhale, arms open back. Exhale, your foot comes forward again. Now inhale, bring that foot all the way back in alignment with the foot that's out in front now. Open up that shoulder and exhale, turn the other foot in and settle it down. Okay, do it the other side. Inhale, sunshine arms. Exhale, step out. Bring the other foot ahead a little bit. Inhale back. Exhale, lunge over that knee with fists. Inhale, open those arms back. Exhale, offer that platter of fruit again. Inhale, open up that left leg with the left arm and turn that foot in. Let's do it one more time on each side. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, step back. Exhale, fists over knee. Inhale, step back. I mean, keep your leg back. Now step forward on the exhale. Inhale, foot comes back. Exhale, settle those hands down in front. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Turn it in. And exhale. Nice job. Let's do something called calm walk just to kind of bring this all to a close here. Place, if you're stepping forward right, place your right hand to your chest and your left behind. And we're going to step forward with our, our uh, left foot or whichever side you're stepping out on that foot. And we push down, come off the back heel, head comes up, shoulders slightly back. And then rock back on the exhale, drop your head. Inhale, push forward. Exhale, rock back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Bring that foot back and settle those hands down. And now, same hand as the side you're going to be stepping out on is at the chest. Inhale forward, push those hands down. Exhale, rock back. Let's go ahead and bring it back. We'll do something now called invisible thread. Inhale and raise one knee. We kind of did this earlier, but this one is a little bit different, nice and slow. It is normal for your ankles to shake. You are centering all of your weight over one foot. It helps me to either kick stand with my toe down or to lift and look down at the floor. So that helps with balance a little bit. Keep your breath moving. One more time on each side, inhale. Holding on to the chair with this one is good too. Exhale down. Let's do a quick twist. 
knocking at the door of life. So thump kind of at your middle back as you come back. Hopefully you'll feel a little bit energized after you've done Qigong. Maybe even a little more relaxed. It works both ways. And let's go ahead now and get into position. Our feet are a little bit wider and we want our knees to be soft. I want you to imagine that there is a brick wall in front of you and trickling down that wall is some nice cool water. So we're going to bring our hands down and imagine on the inhale you're making little streams in that water with the backs of your fingers. Now lean slightly into that wall and press your arms against the wall or your hands. And then rise up on the inhale. Palms against the wall, that nice cool water trickling over the backs of your hands on the exhale. Inhale, raise it up. Exhale, bring it down. This time on the inhale, bring it way up high. Now I want you to expand your rib cage and inhale even deeper. And then blow everything out your mouth as you settle down. Nice job, you made it through a session of Qigong. I hope if you're interested in any of our classes, you'll give us a call. Thank you to Jerry, Sarah, and Sherry for joining us today, and thank you for joining us. For information on this exercise program or other exercise programs offered by Aging Partners, please call 402-441-7575.